Hello everybody from Paltrow Views, today is 2nd of February and I am talking now about uh, one uh, of tropical fruits I ordered last week and this is uh, the Sapodilla uh, that is uh, uh, also known as, you can see in my notes, uh, that uh, also um, Manilcara Zapota, this is the uh, scientific name and uh, this uh, the plant bearing this fruit uh, belongs to the family Sapotase and uh, the common name in addition to Sapodilla are also Sapota, uh, Chico, uh, Nase, Berry or uh, Nispero and I hope to pronounce it well uh, to have pronounced well these uh, uh, names and uh, it is a, a very long uh, lived evergreen tree that is native to Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean it is cultivated in tropical and subtropical countries, uh, including India, Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia and Vietnam. And actually India is one of the biggest producers, even if the plant, as I said, is a South American one. Uh, the name Zapota uh, comes, uh, or Zapota, comes from Spanish Zapota and derived from the Nahuatl word, Nahuatl word the uh, um, uh, population of Aztecs that was living in uh, Central America, indeed, Zapotl. Uh, Zapodilla can, is a tree that can grow more than 30 meters tall, however, uh, usually the cultivated plants are uh, less um, tall, they are shorter, about uh, 9 to 15 uh, meters tall. Uh, the, um, tree is famous because it's quite uh, resistant to wind, uh, it's also able to withstand uh, hurricanes, uh, I found, and uh, the bark of the tree is uh, rich uh, in a white uh, gummy latex called chicle. Uh, the leaves are uh, medium green, as you can see this is an image from uh, the internet, uh, so you can see the leaves uh, are medium green, uh, actually very ornamental, it's one of the most uh, beautiful trees for foliage uh, among the uh, tropical fruits and uh, they are glossy, elliptic, uh, about uh, 7 to 15 centimeters long and as you can see the margin is entirely not um, um, uh, tooted. Uh, about the flowers, uh, again I show you a picture of a flower from the internet, they are kind of bell shaped and white, they are not uh, uh, very uh, showy, uh, however uh, they are uh, fragrant and uh, uh, I found that these flowers are usually uh, pollinated by bat, by bats. Uh, unripe fruits, uh, sorry, uh, unripe fruits uh, as uh, a firm outer skin uh, while uh, the, um, and when you pick them up uh, basically uh, they tend to um, lose uh, uh, this chicle, this latex, the, this white uh, sticky substance from the stalk, while if the uh, fruit is ripe and is a bit uh, saggy, it's softer, and uh, it doesn't lose this, this uh, latex. Um, the fruit is a large berry uh, between 4 to 8 centimeters long, and I found the shape can be varied, really, can be quite diverse, this is um, uh, egg shaped indeed, one of the other name of the sapodilla is uh, uh, um, egg fruit. However, uh, some, um, some um, fruits are uh, more um, rounded. Uh, the plant uh, is, uh, um, sorry, uh, the fruit, uh, the flesh of the fruit is uh, yellow, uh, yeah, yellow to brown and uh, basically contains uh, some uh, grains, it's a, it's a grainy texture similar to a pear, so now I will wash it and cut the fruit and show you the uh, inside. Hopefully, I fear obviously wash the fruit. Okay, so as you can see, uh, well, I am opening it now the fruit, and let's see what. Is. 
Yeah, you can see actually the uh, flesh is uh, um, yellowish brownish and actually in the uh, periphery of the fruit is actually still a little bit green. So I'm not too sure if this uh, fruit is completely mature. Anyway, I will... Um, well, I will eat it and see how it is. It's supposed to be one of the sweetest fruits and uh, I do hope that uh, it is quite sweet because really, yeah, you can see the skin looks quite green inside. Anyway, I'll tell you. Usually if the fruit is not ripe, it's quite a stringent because it contains a lot of saponins like uh, uh, tannins. So here I am eating. Yeah, unfortunately, the fruit is not ripened. I can really see, I can really feel my mouth drying, so. I'm sorry that I can't really tell good things about this fruit because the fruit is absolutely unripened. Anyway, hopefully I will try to cultivate it. So you can actually see anyway, a little bit the granules in the flesh. I think um, you can actually see from the image, the section of the flesh is granulated. And um, here's the seed. You can see the seed is um, as a kind of a hook at the end and um, you have to be careful um, not to swallow them because sometimes if the seeds are swallowed they can basically stuck in the throat so it is very dangerous um, the fruit the number of fruits vary um, according to the size of the fruit and um, each fruit contain contains one to six seeds and uh, um, as you can see, they are hard, glossy, and black. And they resemble beans. Uh, I showed you already the hook at the end. And uh, uh, this is a very dangerous part of the seeds that can get stuck in the throat. In the throat, sorry. The fruit is supposed to have as exceptionally sweet multi flavor. Unfortunately, I can't tell that because this fruit is unripened. So, and. Um, they found that if the fruit is unripe, contains a lot of saponin, astringent in a very similar way to tannins that dry up the mouth. And believe me, in my mouth, uh, it's like scream, not scream, well, kind of screaming for uh, drought, for drought and for water. These fruits, when ripened, it's eaten by humans, but also other animals, including kinkajous, bats, and monkeys. The tree can survive uh, uh, mainly in tropical countries uh, and uh, dies if the temperature drops below uh, freezing. Sapodillas usually take five to eight years from germination before they can bear fruits. And uh, uh, the sapodilla tree yields fruit twice a year, even if flowering can continue all year round. So I'm very sorry not uh, to testify that uh, this fruit is so sweet and so nice. Anyway, obviously, I want to tell you, uh, well, uh, I'm sure that if you eat sapodillas in tropical countries when they are ripe, and it's a beautiful tree, sorry, beautiful, tasty fruit. And for trade, you know, being tropical fruits, um, sometimes uh, you can't really ship already uh, ripe and mature fruits because um, uh, if they are too soft, they don't really ship well. So sometimes the uh, fruits are sent or shipped when they are not ripened, and then they kind of ripen on the way through, even if obviously the flavor will never be as good as when the fruit is freshly picked up from the plant. Um, I hope to be able to taste this exceptionally sweet uh, fruit as it is uh, at some point. Uh, hopefully when I will be able to travel to the tropics myself after the lockdown. In the meantime, what I can do is 
planting this seed and um, I'm not too sure if there is, oh yes, there are some more seeds, great. Perfect. And yes, there is another seeds here and no more seed. Well, at least I have two seeds. So I plant these two seeds uh, because I'm really, really, really curious to plant the seed and see what uh, is, uh, what will be able to germinate, as I hope. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not sure if the, the seeds are already kind of germinating or they were damaged during the shipment because they look a bit open. Um, well, there's not much you can do. I will put them in a pot and see how it goes and hopefully I will keep you updated and maybe who knows I will be able to have my own Sapodillas um, grow, UK grown in greenhouses obviously uh, Sapodilla obviously I'll try to make a bonsai tree definitely I don't have enough space for a 30 meters uh, tall tree and uh, yes I will keep you updated uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope uh, that uh, um, I didn't uh, dissuade you from uh, buying the Sapodilla, at least if you are in a tropical country, because the flavor is supposed to be really nice, but uh, uh, guys and girls, if you notice a fruit this hard, really not, do not uh, open, try, yeah, wait until the fruit is soggy, sorry, it's saggy, it's a little bit softer, uh, I mean, this fruit arrived last week, I don't know how long I would have needed to um, keep it in, um, oh, my mouth <laughs> to keep it uh, um, in uh, um, at room temperature uh, in order to have it um, ripen a bit more in the um, in the kitchen anyway uh, hopefully next time I will be luckier eating the sapodillas so I hope you enjoyed uh, the videos thanks for watching if you like the videos would be great if you give a thumbs up and otherwise obviously give a thumbs down however I hope that at least you um, um, were able to get some new information and hopefully uh, uh, one of the things to try when you uh, next time you go to tropical countries. Thanks very much for watching and it would be great if you uh, like the video and if you like uh, my other videos if you can please subscribe to my channel in this way uh, you will support me to make uh, to yeah, to uh, make more videos. And uh, as usual, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.